We have a new technology, which is very exciting, called the hypoglossal nerve stimulator that is offering an alternative to the CPAP therapy for patients that can't tolerate CPAP. Well, if you've tried the machine and have difficulty with compliance or tolerating the machine, some people go through many masks and can't find the right mask to make a seal for the air to be delivered correctly. Those are people that would benefit greatly from this device. We have three-year data now following patients that have had the implant and 90% of patients are still using the implant three years later. Whereas most patients that, that use CPAP or the statistics on CPAP, it's, there's about a 40% to 50% compliance, um, you know, meaning that 60% of patients don't use the CPAP adequately to treat their disease. This device stimulates the nerve that, that moves um, the, the back of the palate or the, the back of the throat and the back of the tongue forward to, to relieve that obstruction when a patient is sleeping. The device is implanted in a pocket below the skin and then you can see um, these two places where the electrodes can come in. One is tunneled down below the skin uh, to between the ribs and the other one is tunneled up into the neck and wraps around the hypoglossal nerve. It's got a remote control so patients um, can turn it on before they go to bed and then it's also programmed to start working at X minutes past turning it on. So depending how long it takes the patient typically to fall asleep, it's programmed to start working uh, at that interval. Typically I was waking up about two o'clock in the morning and staying awake till four or five o'clock with all sorts of you know, problems or just bizarre things to think about while you're laying there with nothing to do. It was getting really, really bad and I said, I don't know what else to do and I'm gonna give the uh, uh, CPAP one more chance. And I found a doctor here um, that took the machine in and said, you know, this machine is not programmed right for what you're going through and everything else. And we got that set up and I still couldn't get used to the mask. And then I was referred to this program and said they may be able to help you. I was like elated that there was something out there because I had no other choice. This was just a godsend that, you know, we found out about this. We were right place, right time. And, you know, being at KU and working with the doctors here, the best.